They queued up in the hundreds in the hope of getting the newly introduced student loans. These are students at the Copper Belt University in Kitwe who were left out in the initial selection of beneficiaries. The Ministry of Higher Education selected an initial number of 2,500 students for the loans. But 500 more appealed to the Minister, Professor Nkanduluo, to be considered. And the Minister has responded to their cries. Professor Luo has sourced for 22 million kwacha to provide loans to 400 students. So the students that you see here are those that um, appealed through the minister's office to be awarded uh, scholarships. Uh, they did apply the, in the first place, but they were left out because we only have uh, uh, spaces for 2,000 students. So after the Minister of Higher Education, Professor Nkandulu, uh, sourced for more funds so that they can also be awarded. This means that the number of beneficiaries will increase from 2,500 to 2,900. The Students' Union is elated. Yeah, it's a vote of confidence to the Minister. We do understand the depth of the situation that had to stretch an extra arm to reach out to the Minister of Finance to facilitate for the payment of students that are left out. I think in the past you did hear in the media where students were arrested and this is a group that the minister had gone beyond uh, our operating lines to go and try to source for funds. So on behalf of the students, that's a vote of thanks to the minister and also to the Bazaris Committee for facilitating the, the awarding of loans to most of the first years that were left out. And I think as a student's community, uh, we are very, very humbled and we are very happy that uh, the guest that the minister has, has made, made because this was, this was done when uh, the names that have been added were actually above the, the budgeted. And so we are very happy as a student's community. We wish to thank the minister and the government at large because it has showed that they have uh, um, they have hope and they are, they have the, the, the value that they have put towards education. Officials from the Ministry of Higher Education are screening the would-be beneficiaries to ensure the right people take up the offer. The process is likely to take a couple of days until 400 new beneficiaries are identified. Paul Shadala, ZNBC News in Kitwe.